that China is um, immigrating to Ecuador also. China? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And can you tell me, by the way, after the taxi uh, leaves, the story how you, you transported China to, to Ecuador? Oh, that's a story. The five-day journey. We, uh, we booked our flight so that we could fly her into Guayaquil because she's so heavy. She couldn't take the flight from Quito to Loja. Planes are too small. So we booked our flight uh, via Vancouver, New York, so that we could take uh, Lan Chile from New York to Guayaquil. And uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a lot of work because when we landed, when we were in New York, they wouldn't recognize her paperwork from Canada, her vet clearance, her visa from the Ecuadorian embassy, nothing. So we needed to spend a night in New York and go to a New York City vet and then to the National Federal Vet there as well. So two, <laughs> two vet clearances, or four actually. Then we got her uh, on the plane to go to Guayaquil, but when we arrived, she didn't arrive. So of course we started frantically searching for her and nobody knew where she was. Yeah. But we knew she was on the flight. So the people at Lan Chile said, well, maybe she's in a warehouse that way. <laughs> We had never been in Guayaquil, so we went that way instead of that way. <laughs> anyway, it took it two hours. We found the warehouse, but it was six o'clock when we found it and it was closed. But we found out she was in there. It took us another hour to convince them to let us give her some food and water and mm -hmm. some tears, because she had been in the kennel. Well, not too bad at that time, but we couldn't get her out that night. We had to leave her in overnight. And um, then the next day, uh, we spent seven hours with uh, photocopying paperwork and going back and forth from the warehouse to the customs. And it cost $400 to get her driven half a block back to the airport on the runway. Well, $80 for that section of the cost, but total of 400 just to um, get her back. So we didn't um, we didn't get a very good impression of Lan Chile because they really didn't do anything at all to help us. And, uh, we didn't get to see Guayaquil because we, we just left as soon as we got her, right? Mm -hmm. But she's here and she's happy and she's become a little more aggressive as a result, which is good because she was way too passive before. Mm -hmm. So she's a tough, tough therapy dog now. Girlfriend, are you tough? You're way tougher than you were, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But she's still full of love. China's still full of love. She loves Ecuador. Mm -hmm. And we hope never to have to put her on a plane again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah.